Has it ever struck you as odd that almost every synthesizer has a sine wave, a square wave, and a sawtooth? Why these particular waveforms? Why is it that the initialization patch is most often a sawtooth? The answer to all these questions? Harmonics. This software synthesizer is called Oatmeal. I'm using it for this video simply because it has one specific feature that helps with what I'm trying to explain. Oatmeal is a free synthesizer and has been around for many years. Some of the forum sites that it's available on have been known to carry malware, so just be careful when you're downloading. Looking at the central panel, we can see the waveform that's selected, as well as this bar here, which is part of a frequency spectrum. We have a sine wave. This has one element on the frequency spectrum, and that is known as the fundamental. If I was to pick an alternative waveform, say a square wave, we can see that there are more elements than just the fundamental, and these are known as partials or harmonics. And it's these that give sound its character. The term for character of a sound is timbre. If you have two different instruments playing exactly the same note, they would create the same fundamental pitch, but they would have a different timbre. And it's this characteristic, this timbre, that allows us to tell the difference between all the different instruments that we might hear. If we play a sine wave and we apply a low pass filter to the sound, what you'll notice is that the sound doesn't change in its character at all. It simply becomes quieter. If, however, we pick for example, a square wave, and change the cutoff frequency, you'll notice that the sound quality changes and becomes softer. That's because these harmonic overtones are being removed to leave just the fundamental, which is why as you approach the bottom end of the cutoff frequency, the sound gets closer to a sine wave characteristic leaving just the fundamental frequency audible. If this has been interesting or useful so far, please leave a like. Now if we look at a sawtooth wave, you'll notice that not only do we have the fundamental, but every harmonic position here is filled. This gives the sawtooth wave a very buzzy timbre. The process of synthesis that we're talking about here is called subtractive synthesis, and basically you're carving off harmonic frequencies from a waveform. So going back to our first question, why does the sawtooth wave get chosen for initialization patches so much? Well, it's because of all those harmonics that are in the waveform. Using different filters, whether it be band pass or low pass or high pass filters, you can carve away those harmonics to create the sounds that you're after. If you were to start with a sine wave, for example, you would need to add harmonics, and that can be done by adding distortion or waveforms to the sine wave in the first place. That is a process known as additive synthesis. Using oatmeal, we can take a, a basic sine wave again with a fundamental frequency, and we can draw in our own additional harmonics. Hopefully that's been useful or interesting for you, and if you want to see more examples of how different waveforms can be used to create sounds, you can have a look at the video that I'm linking here, and that shows you some sound design processes that I used to create one of my recent tracks.